Welcome back to Beg, Borrow, Steal, arguably our toughest football manager adventure yet as we aim to go from Spain's fourth division all the way to the top without spending any money on transfers whatsoever. And we've got a lot to get through in today's episode. We're now 12 games into the season. We've got to update you on the form. We're going to check out how our new signings have been doing. We're going to have a look at some data surrounding the team so that you can help me appraise exactly how we're doing. We're also going to put a new poll in the communities tab because we've got a big decision to make and we've got the small matter of a fixture to play as well. I think we best get started. So I think we should probably start with that poll that we're going to throw over to the communities tab. Go there straight after the video and have your vote. It's about whether we should be looking for a senior affiliate. We had one last season in the form of Espanyol, but the new board that took over in the summer immediately cancelled that link, scuppering any hopes I had of bringing any players in on loan without having to contribute to their weekly wage, something I found pretty difficult to achieve in FM22. It seems far harder to find players of any real quality that will join you on loan without you having to pay a sizable chunk of their wages. So that query for this episode is as follows. Do you think we should be pursuing another senior affiliate link so that we might be able to bring in some players on loan or should we be going solo like the board declared they wanted to do when they cancelled the link with Espanyol in the summer maybe we should try and get through this entire series without relying on having an affiliate head over to the communities tab as soon as the video is finished and have your say on what you think we should do but don't head over to the Communities tab yet. Check out this first of all. 12 games into the season, 10 wins and a draw, 31 points. And check out the lead we've got from the team in second. We're 10 points clear. I'm nervous in this kind of position. Others would revel in it. Others would think, well, they're storming their way towards promotion. I have a nasty feeling that just like last season, we've started with gusto. Around the middle point of the season, things could get considerably trickier for us. Let's show you the form because it looks pretty good so far. You saw us get that 3-0 win on the opening day of the season. And then, well, we went on a little bit of a run where we were winning games, but only by a single goal. A 2-1 win, a 2-1 win, another 2-1 win, and a 1-0 victory, followed by another 2-1 win meant that we were picking up points and winning games, and we were impressing many of these games. We should have won by a bigger margin, but we weren't blowing teams away, and then we stuttered. This was an unfair defeat. I'm biased, granted, but we went down 2-1 to Badalona. They only had six shots in the entire game. The XGs look similar, but their XG is inflated by the fact that they had an 87th minute penalty. This is another game where, rather than even picking up a point, we probably should have won it. But since then, well, form has got a little bit better. A 6-1 win, a 5-0 win, a 2-2 draw with the team that were in second, and we gifted them a fairly late equaliser. We show you the match stats. It's another game that I was a little disappointed not to have come away with all three points, if I'm honest. And then in our most recent games, well, we've tightened up defensively. A 1-0 win in our local rivalry with San Andreo and then a 2-0 victory over Ebro. We've had lots of players that have been performing pretty well in this new system. A couple haven't been performing that great and they might surprise you. Let's show you how everyone's been doing. Okay, we're back for an away tie today. We're at a mid-table team, Via Rubia, and we'll show you the lineup. Sergio's carrying a little bit of a knocking goal, but we're going to start with him anyway. This is why I'm starting to have some, maybe some concerns about him. He's got reflexes of seven and agility of eight, and a lot of the shots that would seem pretty routine saves, well, he doesn't do anything with. So let me know down in the comments, is he a player? you think needs replacing sooner or later otherwise we're almost at full strength Niall Mason got injured in training yesterday not that that really matters he trains abysmally but it means that he's out of the team today so Nana's coming in in his place let's show you what we're doing up top because we were so excited about Diego Vargas coming in this season 
He's only got three goals in 12 appearances. Only seven of them start, but he's missed some decent chances, whereas the other two strikers have been performing great. Sonogo's had a bit of a knock this week, but he's back. He's got five goals and five assists in seven starts. He's been superb, and we know that old Borges of Domingo is the division's top scorer. Six goals in nine starts. He's going to lead the line for us today. That means on the bench, as well as Vargas, we have got our one loan signing that we've managed to bring in without paying any money for. He's only started one game. He's got one goal. He comes on a sub. He misses a fair few chances as well, to be honest. Otherwise, I think we're at our strongest. Humanes has been superb so far this season. He's got four goals in 12 games. Coming up for set pieces, he's looked great. Everything looks like we should be able to win this afternoon's game. So you know we're going to go out there. All of our good form is going to capitulate. It's going to cave in on us and we're going to lose 3-0. But we'll have fun watching it. OK, and the game is underway. We are the away team, but we're in our home strip today. Things have been going so well. We've looked really strong in these opening 12 games. To have a 10-point lead so early on in the season, it would seem unassailable already. But I've got a very Kevin Keegan feeling about this season that we might be about to just throw it all away. But hopefully, at least for the cameras for today's game, we can put on another performance. It might be that we might need to think about tweaking our tactic whilst we're on top, you know, because... Well, we got a 6-1 win and a 5-0 win, but otherwise a lot of these wins have been pretty narrow, even though we've been dominating games. And I'd love to check out the stat, by the way, for how many times we've hit the woodwork this season, because it is plenty. We've got a corner. We've been dangerous from these so far. There's Humanes, who knocks it onto Smitty. I think he was offside to spare his blushes because he's headed... An open goal just wide of the post. We've looked good in this first half, but we've not found the breakthrough yet. And now, well, our opponents are coming forward. They've got the ball, what, halfway inside our own half. Are they going to slip a ball behind us? And maybe have an effort on goal. It looks like this is going to be their chance. And Sergio carrying that little knock. He's got a gashed upper leg. But he seems like he can get through a game. And we've got it forward to Domingo. Sergio's played like a sweeper. And Domingo, we gave him the big build-up about what good form he's been in. That was a good chance. And we've missed it, which has been a little bit of a feature of our play. Sometimes it's been the set pieces that have been bailing us out. You know, Lander's got the ball. He's offside. And we've got 10 minutes to go to half time, And we've looked pretty good. We've not managed to find the breakthrough. We've got a decent XG going into half time, but no goals to show for it. We might need to have a little word with the boys. We might need to have a little tweak of the tactics. We'll see you for the second half. Okay, no changes of personnel as yet, but Sonogo is playing a 6.4 at the moment, and we've got attacking options on the bench. So we're looking for more from him pretty soon into this second half. Otherwise, I think we're going to be making changes. We've got a highlight straight at the start of this half. And it's them that's going through. And it's Capello. And Sergio has had to save us again. That's a couple of decent chances they've had. In fact, I think I might stick out a little shout to demand more from the players. Because we're ticking our way towards 55 minutes now. And we've not. Well, we've not had a highlight in the second half. Maybe this is about to change things. Smitty. Got it to Hermanes. Patience. He's not in any rush. Got it into midfield. Nana's on the ball. What will she do? Probably not off knowing Nana, but Guti's now got it. Jordi, Valero. It's a poor ball. We've given it away. Can Jordi win it back? Maybe this is not going to be our highlight after all. It's a very long one. That's a hopeless long ball forward by then. We've got another chance. I do play with a slightly lower tempo at the moment to try and create some better chances. I was about to say, maybe I need to up that tempo just a little bit to try and force some chances. And I thought we'd made the breakthrough, but we haven't. Apparently that's offside. That looks mightily close to me. Oh, we've had some squiffy decisions this season. We're on 60 minutes. We haven't got the breakthrough. Time to make some changes. 
Okay, we've made two substitutions and tweaked the shape a little bit. We've gone with a diamond, but a wide diamond. So we've got three attackers on the pitch now. And we've taken Sonogo off because his 6.4 dropped to a 6.3 and he'd been poor. Humanes, that's his fifth goal of the season. This guy's playing at centre half. And he's drilled one from, what, 22, 24 yards out to spare our blushes a little bit. We've got Nana on the ball. She turns it back outside to Soler. Nana's there again. I think Nana's getting an assist. Could be her first of the season. And who manners? Well, that is a much-needed goal. We're going to throw out another shout. And I think we're going to praise them for taking the lead. That's helped with the body language. This might be a matter of just winning another narrow game again, you know. Lander's on the free kicks. He's drifted one in. Domingo's got a chance. He's put it wide. We had a good chance from the free kick and a good chance from Domingo's effort. It's set play time again. It's throw-ins now. Domingo's on the ball again. It's Domingo that's playing in the number 10 role. Now that we've got these three attackers on the pitch, Guti doesn't want to get caught there. We've probably not got enough players back from this. We need to stay attacking. Here's Humanes. He's gone all the way back to the keeper, Sergio. We've got one more change up our sleeve. Maybe we need to make things a bit more cautious again for the final eight minutes. We'll see if we can get a second goal first. Domingo's on the ball. It's pretty good playing in that number 10 slot. We are playing very patiently again. I don't always like it when we play like this because we've given the ball away and this is going to be the equaliser. It should have been the equaliser. They deserved it. That's their third decent chance. I'm going back into the tactics. Unashamedly, I'm going to try and shore things up a little bit. Okay, final seven and a half minutes to play. We've dropped the line of engagement and the defensive line and I've lowered it down to a balanced mentality. And so far, that seems to have done the trick. We might have one more highlight to navigate. Is it for us? Here's our young Loney. That's why he's not starting games. He's quick. He's a good finisher, allegedly. That's not the first time I've sat and watched him go through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he's been unable to take his chance. We've got a corner from it at least. Landers on it. He's drifted one in. And Domingo's got up and scored a second for us. Well, we've not looked at our best, to be honest. We're going to keep a clean sheet, I think, in this game. I'm not sure we've deserved one. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think we make a change to the tactic from a position of strength? Or am I just doom-mongering? Shall I just leave it whilst we're doing so well in terms of our results? We've got through that game. We're going to say nice work, everyone, just to keep the morale up. How's it going to leave the table looking? Well, we've played a game more than Terrassa. They're still to play. The worst we can end up after 13 games is still being 10 points clear if they only draw or... If they suffer defeat, it could be even better than that. Let us know down in the comments whether you think we should be looking for a new goalie, whether we should be making any tweaks to the tactic. We'll absorb what you've got to say and then we'll go and play another batch of games. Then we'll see you for our next episode to see if we can still be top of the table in Beg, Borrow and Steal.